Hello everyone, welcome to our multi-board draftsman demonstration in Altium Designer. In this demo, we'll explore how this feature enhances the documentation process for multi-board projects, allowing you to create comprehensive and visually appealing documentation. Uh, we'll be working with the mini PC multi-board project today, and here's a quick look at the 3D view of the motherboard portion of the project to uh, get an idea of what we are working with. There is also an additional Wi-Fi and two DDR4 cards that go with these slots that I will show to illustrate uh, the Draftsman features later on in this demonstration. So here's the multi-board schematic that goes with the project. And as we can see, there is a motherboard on the left that is connected to the other Wi-Fi and DDR4 boards on the right. Alright, so now let's open the Draftsman document directly from our multi-board project. And all we have to do is right-click on the multi-board project in the Projects panel, and then go to Add New Project, or Add New to Project, and uh, select the Draftsman document. And uh, now with the Draftsman document open, we can see the Properties panel on the right. Uh, this panel has a bunch of options that can be used to tailor the document to your specific needs. And uh, so you can set things like grid properties, sheet and border colors, uh, line styles, and uh, even uh, unit preferences. Uh, the parameters tab shows all the different uh, loaded parameters that can be used uh, with also the capability to add new ones. Uh, the page options tab is where you can set things such as your preferred uh, sheet size and margins to your specific needs. Uh, the active bar at the top here is where you can grab your desired objects uh, to place into the document. And uh, you can also right click and hover over place to access these same objects. Or you can just press P on the keyboard and it will show up as well. And uh, you can right click each section of the active bar to see all the other options in a given column. Alright, so now let's uh, add various multi board views to our draftsman document. And uh, we will go into the properties for the view and change the scale to better fit our sheet size here. And uh, we can also go into the parts menu here and select what we want to include in this particular object. Uh, for this one, I only choose the motherboard. And I'll click and drag this over to the right to give more space. And then I'll do a copy and paste to get started on another view for another, for another board view. And for this one, I'll choose to show the first DDR4 memory board. And I'll do another copy and paste to show the second one. To show the second one next to it. And now I will copy and paste one to show the Wi-Fi. We'll put that above the two rams. Okay, so now let's add a left and front view of the motherboard as well. And while dragging, you can press the space bar to rotate the view to align better here on the left. And I will do the same for the front view. And 
And I will clean this up a bit to make it look a bit more spaced out here. Okay, now let's add some dimensions. Uh, these will help indicate the size of the motherboard. And we could change these to metric or standard in the properties panel, depending on our preference. Uh, for now, I'll leave them in metric. So uh, next, annotations are essential for providing additional information and context within our documentation. So let's add annotations to highlight the important features and components here. So we can click on note, uh, uh, change the text for a given section. So I will copy and paste the name of the RAM, chip, RAM chips for the first note here. And uh, we could add a note if needed. And we can also delete them here for this uh, document. I will only use two. And uh, for the second one, I will just say Wi-Fi uh, for the Wi-Fi chip. And uh, I'll make it a circle. Okay, so now let's add some callouts and reference them to our notes. So I'll add one to our RAM chips here. And in the properties, I can change the source to be a note item and choose the corresponding note number. And I'll do the same process for the uh, Wi-Fi chips call out. Okay, so this page is getting pretty full, so I will right click and add a new sheet. And let's now add a bill of materials or BOM table to our document. Uh, bill of materials is crucial for listing components used in the multi-board project. And as we can see, there are a large number of components in this project uh, to all fit in one table for the sheet size. So I'll address that here shortly. So if we go to table properties, we can see that there are a bunch of column options that can be used depending on your preferences. Uh, so we scroll through here. And uh, we'll just stick to the name and quantity uh, for this example. Uh, if I go to the general tab, and then I can do a cool trick to divide this large table up to fit in the sheets. Uh, in the sheets, sorry. Uh, under pages, I can check the limit page height box to make it fit. Uh, so now I'll do a copy. Uh, I'll, I'll copy this page table over as many times as needed to show all of the components here. And you can just click the next number to show the others in the table ex next table extension. I'll move this over 
and do it one more time for the third page here. Okay, so now we're showing all the components in the bomb. Lastly, let's now open up a new page and and uh, we'll add a graphic view here. So I'll add a screenshot of the motherboard PCB dock uh, to give a bit more color to the project or the, the document to have a better reference. Uh, you can also add any desired picture uh, to the sheet with the graphic option. Alright, so this is all I wanted to show in this demonstration. Uh, I hope it helped uh, demonstrate how to use this tool effectively. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for joining this demo. Uh, I encourage you to explore further and uh, leverage the power of multi-board draftsmen and Altium Designer for your projects. Uh, thank you.